Hey gang, Jaguar here. Uh, just uh, reporting in from our trip from, to Almacon 2016. Uh, this time the whole family went. Uh, my two sons, my wife and I, uh, and my son even brought a friend. So uh, my wife decided to stay in the hotel and just have a nice quiet day with no me, no kids, no nothing. So she just relaxed and ate room service. Uh, while the rest of us wandered around the con. We had a great time. Uh, my youngest, who is eight, seven, he turns eight in a few days, but uh, he's seven and he had, he started out like really like, oh, this is boring. And then he saw characters wandering around from his favorite anime, the view that we've let him watch. So he is having, he was having a blast after that. He doesn't really enjoy the panels as much. I mean, he was under 13, so he was stuck with me the whole time. But he soldiered through it. Uh, we went to the, the seamstress panel, and he was bored to tears during that. And then we went to some that were actually a little bit more upbeat. Well, not upbeat, but a little less more what's a pleat. What's a, you know, he had no clue. His bias tape does not interest him at all. But we went to uh, Charles Dunbar panel and he had, he had fun there. Um, we spent a lot of time in the game room playing Smash Brothers. until uh, one guy kept showing up and playing Robin and just destroying us all and that's when I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm done. If this guy's gonna win every time, he got defeated once of the like 10 matches that I saw him play. Uh, they decided to play Rock Band. At one point we tried to get the Nintendo 64 going but someone had like, the reset button got stuck and I was like, ah, oh, if only I had my tools and my cleaner. And I could've taking care of it. But I uh, ran into Sarah from uh, Bashful Bunny Cosplay and that was real neat. Uh, my, of course, my sons know her as one of the Lynx because <laughs> that's when we ran into her last year she was dressed as, her and her friends were dressed as the different Lynx from Four Swords. Uh, this year she was dressed as Lucina which one of my sons knows from Smash. I know from uh, Fire Emblem, and then the youngest was like, Ooh. let's see, uh, the, the artist alley was on point this time. I really liked it. I wandered around and, uh, I ended up buying, um, a... 3D perler art of Celeste from Final Fantasy whichever one. I can't remember the numbers because in my brain they're still the old numbers but now I confuse them with the new numbers so I don't know what they are. But the one where Sid wore a yellow raincoat and was kind of a creeper. But uh, I bought that one and she had a whole display out and uh, Final Fantasy characters uh, uh, it's the other one. Chrono Trigger? Chrono... Chrono Trigger. She had Chrono Trigger characters out there as well. I also snagged there. There was a, uh, someone who was doing sewing and also doing uh, vinyl on glass. So I got this uh, pint glass with the, the Legends of Zelda logo on it. Uh, my son, youngest, decided to he wanted to buy uh, some lovely wooden boxes that had uh, link on them. Uh, one is uh, uh, just had a, a drawing on it and the other one was actually burned in and it was a uh, he, he calls it Link in the Wall which is funny because it's the the link that can go into the walls in the 3DS. Anyways, Link Between Worlds. Um, 
stayed around way too late, stayed there until about one in the morning. We closed the place down, at least for us who don't go to any of the, the, the parties or the balls or the raves. And then headed back, got a good night's sleep, and came back. Uh, we did. We only got the Saturday uh, event because time worked out really weird, and I had to get back on Sunday because I'm the DM for uh, Dungeons and Dragons group. So I had to roll, <laughs> roll right back home, uh, brush teeth, let the dogs out, let the cat out, up, whatever, feed them all, water them all and then take off again and then come back and the dogs and cats are all very confused which is why I've got a dog right down here right now that won't leave my side because she's afraid that I'm gonna leave again isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Please. Hey, wait. Oh, there is my report on Almacon 2016 uh, it was a blast as it was last year and I that is definitely gonna be a con that we are gonna hit uh, every time, just because it's, it is just big enough to have enough variety that there are things to do, but it's also small enough to where there are spots where you can sit down and just have random conversations. Like I had conversations with uh, Jonathan and Brandy, and we talked about everything from uh, hairstyles of pigtails to different types of food that we like and what desserts we try to avoid. We also spent a long time talking about pets. Uh, but I highly encourage anybody to go to AlmaCon uh, if you get a chance. It is uh, located in Alma, Michigan, which a lot of people will go, where? But it's, uh, it's about half an hour to an hour west of Saginaw, Michigan, if you know where that is. If you don't know where that is, I can't help you. But thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!